Okay, before we develop theory for <coughs> quadratic equation and its roots, let us see if we solve these problems. Simple problem number one. Problem number one. Find all values of k. Belonging to R. That both the roots. of x square plus kx minus 6 is equal to 0 are real and the difference is at least 88 अरे तो वारने का राजनाथ वाचा कौन है आपके वार्ता का इका? हो सर। Now both the roots must be real gives you condition a square plus share a side of choice k square plus 24 should be greater than r equal to 0 that is delta greater than r equal to 0 because we want for the roots to be real so this is going to be always true so k solution set for this is minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. Then what suppose alpha comma beta are the roots. Right? So what additional information that we have? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus k and alpha beta is equal to minus 6 this is the information that we have and additional information that we have is alpha minus beta should be difference should be at least root 88 is that correct so now we should start processing using this alpha minus beta should be greater than or equal to root 88 therefore alpha minus beta Hmm. Square. Well, you have to use these two. And look at the difference between the two. So, alpha minus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta square minus 4 times alpha beta. Is that correct? So, alpha minus beta square is k square minus 4 into minus 6. So, so, 24 plus 24 and this should be, this is the alpha minus beta bracket square and the square root of this, I think this should be greater than equal to 88. Yes, sir. 
Yes. That makes it a square should be greater than equal to 64. And if k square is 64, I mean, from here you should solve it like this. A square minus 64 should be greater than equal to 0, leading coefficient positive. Therefore, factors k, k plus 8, k minus 8 should be greater than equal to 0. Then we got it in the bracket factorized form. After that, baby curve, 0 minus 8, 8. Opening leading coefficient positive, extreme left, both the brackets will be negative, entering like this, going like this, and going up like this. Right? This is going to be the nature of this quadratic, and therefore, <clears throat> these two circles should be dark circles because equality is allowed. Hence, this is what is your solution set. So, solution set is minus. Now, first let us write down solution set number two and then intersection of these two. Here everything is available. Therefore, final solution set is minus infinity, comma, minus eight, closed, union, closed, eight, comma, less infinity. Problem number two. Find all values of k. Belonging to R such that one root of x square minus 3kx plus 2 square 2k square is equal to 0 is twice the other. Hmm. Again, first condition is always delta greater than or equal to one root is or twice of the other. So, if first root is alpha, second root is 2 alpha. This implies 3 alpha is equal to 3k and 2 alpha square is equal to 2k square. Is it that easy? Therefore, alpha is equal to k. The k value itself is going to be the root. Is delta always positive? 9k square minus 8k square should be greater than equal to 0. This is always true. And alpha, any real number you take k, you get alpha as a root. So, solution set plus infinity. Let me make change in the quadratic equation. Otherwise, question is same x square minus 6kx. x square minus 6kx plus 2k square is equal to 0. Both the roots. I mean, one is twice the other. Ada. What is delta? First of all, delta is delta is equal to thirty six k square minus. 8k square is equal to 28, na? Yes, sir. Okay. 
is always going to be true. Now, sum of the roots 3 alpha is equal to 6k gives you uh, alpha is equal to 2k. Okay. And 2 alpha square is equal to 2k square gives you uh, alpha square is equal to k square. So alpha is equal to plus or minus k. So 2k is equal to plus or minus k gives us 2 is not equal to 1, 2 is not equal to minus 1 therefore k is equal to 0. So k is equal to 0 is the only value which will satisfy this, otherwise not. Solution set, only one. Okay. Sir, can you explain how uh, you did the last two steps? Yeah, this is sum of the roots. 6k, product of the roots, alpha into 2 alpha, 2 alpha square, k square. Okay, sir, got it. Yes. Okay. If we use the formula for quadratic equation, mm -hmm. uh, minus b uh, plus or minus root delta upon 2a, uh, then we get k is equal to minus 37 minus 12 root 17 upon 38. Here we are, sir. Minus 37. No, x is equal to minus b. 6k plus minus under root 28k square upon, upon 2. 2. But okay. This should be the root. Okay. So this is how much? 3k plus minus. 7k. Which is k times 3 plus minus. No, it is 7. Root 7. 2 root 7. 2 cancel in the next over. Huh? 2 cancel in. Okay, so now you want value of k such that so k times 3 plus root 7 okay should be equal to 2k times 3 minus root 7 this condition but again because 3 minus root 7 is going to be smaller one and 3 plus root 7 is going to be bigger root and bigger root should be 2 times the smaller root then this is not going to work unless k is equal to 0 3 plus root 7 is not equal to 6 minus 2 root 7 therefore k must be equal to 0 that way also we can go about it. Good. Next problem. Problem number four. Black. Find all values of k belonging to R such that same wording same such that x square plus kx plus k minus 1 is equal to 0 has real roots and sum of the squares is at least 8 has 
real roots and some of the squares these at least 78 correct okay condition number 1 both the roots must be real therefore delta k square minus 4k plus 4 this is this one some of the squares of the roots squares of the roots is alpha square plus beta square is equal to s2 is alpha plus beta bracket square minus 2 alpha beta which is equal to alpha plus beta is minus k bracket square alpha beta is k minus 1 so minus 2 into k minus 1 is sum of the squares of the roots should be at least 76 mm, unfortunately is this not a good number it was to be designed like that actually but it seems that but pacho no atha hatte nahi eka factor se tatte je changle factor yet nahi na ata itka tumhi kele manje yet nasti k is equal to 2 plus minus under root 4 plus divided by 1 plus minus the other case 308 upon सर हापेक्षा जर का अपन की अंडर रूट ऑफ सेवेंटी सेवन असल This is the final winning solution set. Sir, I think this number should have been adjusted in such a way that these factors are good. Then somehow it is messed up. Anyway, ha. Ta dusra kaise jo manna ho kisa ho jis. Sir, S one asa tha manje the square manun to name is greater asar na. Yes, sir. Some of the squares can. Yes, sir. Some of the squares can. Yes, sir. 
सर तुम्ही एस वन ला मायनस इन्फिनिटी मायनस टू सोल्युशन सेट आहे तो ऑल रिअल नंबर पाहिजे ना कारण एफ के मायनस टू स्क्वेअर आहे ना अरे हा ओके डायरेक्ट to give you another problem p5 find all values of m for which both the roots of x square as 4 minus m times x plus 3m is equal to 0 or greater than Take your time. We will not solve this problem. We will solve a bigger problem, and then after solving a bigger problem, we apply whatever is the outcome of solving bigger problem to this problem and get the answers quickly. Because. every time we can have some different combinations of the parameter here in quadratic equation and we might end up having some constant here the root should be greater than this root should be greater than that and therefore it is better to take quadratic equation so now our approach is more generalized so let quadratic equation b a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, and when I say that I say a is not equal to zero, and both the roots greater than two. Ah, uh, sorry, k. Then I'm going to. So if we if we do this, then we will get the required conditions. We apply those conditions to this quadratic equation, and k is equal to two. We will put and get the solutions. Okay. So how do we analyze? First thing that we must have is both the roots. They should be real. Therefore, delta must be greater than or equal to zero. Implies b square minus four ac. Should be greater than or equal to. Yeah. That is condition number one. Whatever solution set you will get because of this condition is supposed to be considered while reporting the final solution set. Second, sum of the roots, of course, should be greater than. If both the roots are greater than k, then sum of the roots must be greater than. ठीक है पता लगता है क्या 
what is the condition on some of the roots do you agree with this some of the yes sir be strictly greater, greater than 2k equality not allowed because if the roots are equal to k then it is they are not greater than k okay so some of the roots and what is some of the roots in our case minus b by a should be greater than 2k therefore k must be less than minus b by 2a this will provide you solution set number 2 this will provide us solution set number 1 and of course the third information that we have here is product of the roots hmm down there is a problem product of the roots how do we exploit this condition let alpha comma beta be the roots of a x square plus b x plus c equal to z right so we know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a okay given k should be smaller than alpha and k should be smaller than beta this implies alpha minus k should be greater than 0 And beta minus k should be greater than zero. Both both of them are positive differences. Therefore, this implies alpha minus k into beta minus k should be greater than zero. This implies alpha beta minus alpha plus beta times k plus k square should be greater than or greater than zero good that means am i going correctly beta everything is right yes alpha beta is c by a minus minus b by a times k plus k square Should be greater than equal to sorry not equal greater than zero. This implies clearing the denominator. Attack or you know, if we clear the denominator, then what will we get? Let us LCM. So a k square plus b k. Plus c, all divided by a, is greater than zero. बरोबर चल रहे हैं लक्ष्य आए सकें सर अरे मूलन तो आठ की कहाँ है माला एक वाले लोग बोर्ड तरीके से अपन ही नसिल ना अपन ही भाई ना एलसीएम उस काट लेते हैं ओके तो तब तो एलसीएम उस काट लेते हैं now this equal to now can I cross multiply by a And make it vanish because the positive or negative. Yes. So a into a k square plus b k plus c. Now denominator is a square, and therefore this is equal to zero. This unless you are deeply involved in this discussion, you will not understand this. Anyway, I hope you are. So. What is this? This is a of f of k should be greater than zero. That is what is the condition I am getting. If I try to exploit product of the roots, which is available with me, this information. If I try to exploit, I end up getting condition that a of f of k. Now, what do we mean by f of k? I write f of x is equal to 
ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Now, is equal to zero is quadratic equation. However, this is quadratic expression. F of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c is a quadratic expression. And the graph of that is whatever opening opening up parabola, opening down parabola, etc. So if I replace x by k, I get this quadratic equation and therefore I call it as f of k. The way we put that factor, f of 2 we found out, f of 3 we found out like that, f of k is 0. So this is the condition that I need. So this condition will give you solution set number 3. And hence, overall solution set, final solution set is equal to S1 and S2 and S3. All those values of all those values of the parameter which will satisfy S1 and S2 and S3. Therefore, S1 intersection, S2 intersection, S3. That is what is going to be your final solution set. Now, let us see uh, we, we will derive this by one more method also, but presently, having found out this, let us check whether we get the final answer as you guys have found out. Then our theory is correct. So let me just try to do it simultaneously here. Okay. Now I have to see my problem also. Ah. So solution set for this. What is the solution? B, B is equal to 4 minus M. This makes it Four minus m bracket square minus four into one into three m should be greater than or equal to zero, which makes it sixteen minus eight m plus m square minus twelve m should be greater than or equal to zero. That makes it m square minus eight m. Sorry, m square minus. 20m plus 16 will be greater than or equal to 0. What are the factors of this? Do you have the factors? 10 minus root 84, 10 plus root 84. We can do that. M is equal to 20 plus minus under root. 400 so I took so just uh, 1 2 10 plus minus under root 464 divided by it should be 400 minus 64 minus huh? okay it should be minus then it should be how much 6, 3, 3 divided by 4 is at about 3 star chok soya. Therefore, this solution set is leading coefficient positive, so minus infinity to 10 minus root 84 union 10 plus root 84 comma uh, plus infinity. This is the first solution set. S1. S2. S2 is equal to minus B upon 2A should be greater than K. Okay. Our K is 2. B is, uh, B is 4 minus M upon 2 should be greater than 2. Right? That gives us 4, uh, m should be greater than 0. Is that right? So, solution set is m is greater than 0. So, this is S2. And S3 is equal to a times, uh, sorry, a is 1, so 1 times 
f of k that is uh, 2 square plus 4 minus m times 2 plus 3m should be greater than 0. How much is this? Minus 2m plus 3m, so m. 8 plus 4, 12, m should be greater than minus 12. So S1 intersection S2, intersection S3, winner set is 10 plus root 84. Oh no, plus this is the correct answer, which many of you have shown. But this is something which we have developed now. Now you can remember this. Minus B by 2A, K should be greater than minus B by K should be less than minus B by 2A. And A of F of K should be greater than Z. Sir? Yes. Sir, I think S2 should be M greater than A. Yes, sir, because um, uh, we, are, we are taking minus B by 2A. M should be greater than? 8. Sir, when we take 4 to the other side, it becomes positive. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good So, the, how much is this? Minus 4 plus M should be greater than 4. M should be greater than 8. Okay, but this number is still winner. Correct, you are right. Then this is error. Alt. But it doesn't make any difference in the final solution set. But of course, yes. S2, S2 was wrong. And now it is correct. Okay, so let me give you another way of looking at this thing. This is pure algebra. Okay. Now let me show you some geometry. I will keep everything open so that you can copy it. We know that the quadratic equation which is given to us is suppose in general ax square plus bx plus c. And there is a key value somewhere here on real number line. So now what am I going to try and do is if I want both the roots to be greater than k, this is very important. This is very difficult to explain and of course it is difficult to understand what I am try trying to tell you right now. Algebra is fine, you have done it. But if you understand the geometry behind the algebra, the things will become very fast. Now there is a general quadratic equation which is given to you and it is said that both the roots are greater than k. That means root exists. So we are not considering any situation like this where there is no root and the curve is totally above x-axis. This is x-axis. Okay. So this is not the situation that we are trying to consider. So the situation which we are trying to consider is of course either it is touching or it is intersecting. These are the two cases we are considering. That means we are taking care of our solution set number one. The roots are real. Okay. So now I really know that then uh, that I want this kind of situation. Then there are how many graphs that I can draw. I can draw something like this. This is acceptable. Yes. I can draw something like this. This is acceptable. Yes. Uh, I can draw something like this, which is acceptable. And I can draw something like this, which is also acceptable. So practically, I have drawn black graphs, which are acceptable to me. And what is not acceptable is say something like this is not acceptable because both the roots are less than k. Uh, this is not acceptable easy, both the roots are less than k. This is not acceptable because one root is greater than k, one root is less than k. 
This is also not acceptable because one root is k and another root is less than k. Maybe this is also not acceptable if one root is k and another root is positive. All these are not acceptable and their reflections. That means opening down. Exactly all these graphs opening down are also not acceptable. So what is acceptable is either touching x-axis, opening up or down. Are intersecting x-axis, opening up or down, but both the points of intersection should be after k. This is what our geometry is. Now, uh, see if if I really draw all this, then we are messing it up. Reflections of all these people. If I draw, then I am going to mess it up. It is going to be very complicated. Something like this. Okay, so it is difficult. In fact, whatever we want, these black curves is also going to be very difficult to streamline. However, opening up, opening down, there is an ambiguity depending upon value of a. I have to be sure about whether opening up or opening down. Otherwise, what I could have done. Is now if we observe all these four black graphs that I have drawn, do you appreciate that the vertex, vertex of each graph, the vertex of each graph is after k. The x coordinate of vertex is after k because if vertex See, now all these red graphs, if we analyze, vertex is to the left of k, vertex is to the left of k, vertex is to the left, 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 maybe doubtful. It, I mean, these two are still ambiguous, opening up, opening down. But the ones which we want definitely have vertex greater than k. And what is our x coordinate of vertex? If this is a quadratic equation, we have found out minus b by 2a that is our x coordinate of vertex and minus delta upon 4a if you remember these are the two coordinates that we have drawn of vertex very first lecture of quadratic equation so vertex x coordinate should be greater than k that is our second condition s2 we have got and geometrically also we are agreeing to that saying that this is greater than k Okay, now I want to figure out third condition in such a way that I won't get any of the red ones and only end up getting these black ones. And I know S3 talks about f of k. So, if you observe this graph, this black graph, this is the value of k. If I draw it further, what is f of k? f of k is this y value. You put k in this quadratic equation and what is the y coordinate of this point? Okay, so it is greater than 0 because it is above x axis. If I substitute it in this, it will go further up, it is going to be greater than 0. However, if I put it in this graph, k is going to be here and it is less than 0. If I put it in this graph, k, it is less than 0. So, I am being t. Sometimes f of k is greater than 0, sometimes f of k is less than 0. Therefore, ambiguity. Now, exercise. Example 1. x square minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. What are the roots of this? What are the roots?
roots of this quadratic equation x square minus 7x sorry minus 10 x square minus 7x minus 10 9 plus 10 sorry plus 10 plus 10 what are the roots of this equation 2 comma 5 are yete ka sagyanna 2 comma 5 are the roots of this equation okay example number 2 2x square minus 14x plus 20 is equal to 0 what are the roots of this equation 2 comma 5 what are the roots of this equation? 2 comma 5 again 2 comma 5 roots are same now if I say that this is p of k p of x is equal to this and if I say this is q of x is equal to this then p of x is it to equal to q of x no sir is p of x equal to q of x no sir no sir no okay very good so is p of x a standard parabola opening up yes sir Again, the luxury is P of X a standard parabola opening up? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Is P of X uh, not standard parabola opening up? Yes, sir. It's not standard parabola. Do you all agree with the niche or are you just saying like that? It will be steep. Standard parabola opening up? Is this a standard parabola opening up? Both are they both same? Is this a standard parabola? Yes, because yeah, leading coefficient is one, therefore standard. This is is this a steep parabola? Leading coefficient is two. Yes. Is this yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is this opening up a steep parabola? Yes. Yes. Let us assume that to be yes. Example three. R of x is equal to x square by minus 2 plus 7 by 2 times x mm, minus 10 by 2 is equal to 0. Is this a parabola? Yes, sir. Yes. Is this, what are the roots of this parabola? Sir, again, Sir, two, again comma two, five. 2 comma 5. Is this standard? Yeah. No, sir. No, sir. It is flat. It is flat parabola. Is it flat? Yes. And is it opening up? No, sir. It's opening down because of minus down. 3 in x square. Yes. So, by these three examples, what we have learned is Suppose I have a standard parabola like this and if I multiply the parabola by a non-zero constant then I keep getting different parabolae may be steep, this is multiplied by 2, this is multiplied by 1, maybe this is multiplied by half and what is so good about all these parabolae, they have the roots equal to exactly same. They are not changing the roots. Roots are same, but the nature is getting changed. So, by multiplying by non-zero constant, you are keeping the roots same. Because I can write this quadratic algebraically 2 into x square minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. So 2 is not 0, therefore this has to be 0. Therefore, if I solve this, I get 2 comma 5 x values, which is same as this. Therefore, roots are same. Here, minus half if I take common, it will be x square minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Minus half is not 0, therefore this must be 0. Again, it gives me the solution set 2 comma 5. So what have I learned from here? If I multiply parabola, 
expression by any non-zero constant, roots continue to remain same, but the nature change. Nature changes depending upon the multiplier. If multiplier is positive, it will continue to remain uh, opening up. Opening up, or if it is originally opening down, it will continue to remain opening up. If the multiplier is negative, it will flip. If the multiplier is greater than one, it will become steep parabola. If the multiplier is less than one numerical value, then it will become flat. So using this fact, if ambiguity between opening down black parabola. Is removed by multiplying this by a. If I multiply a, multiply by a, then I get. Then I get. If I multiply this, suppose suppose our parabola is minus x square plus two x plus three is equal to zero. So of course it is going down. Whatever are the roots, but this is opening down. If I multiply throughout by minus one, what will happen? X square minus minus three is equal to zero. Roots are not going to change. Leading coefficient becomes positive. A of f of k, a a of a x square plus b x plus c makes it a square x square plus a b x plus a c is equal to zero. So leading coefficient is definitely positive now. It is a square, and therefore this parabola, after multiplying by a, is always opening up. And therefore we need not have to consider have to consider this opening down parabola. And therefore value of a of f of k is going to be greater than zero. That means these two parabola intersect. The vertical line at k above x-axis. That is the meaning of this geometrically. So basically, by these three conditions, three, condition number two, and condition number one, which is b square minus four ac should be greater than equal to zero. That is s one. These three conditions are the same conditions which we got algebraically. And they have this geometric meaning. Okay, I am going to stop recording now and keep the board available for you for some more time. If you have not understood anything, you should ask. This is the complete whiteboard which you can see now and check whether you have understood everything or not. Sir, let me explain you this by one more method. Last lecture. We have solved a problem where both the roots were required to be greater than zero. Okay, and then revise. Okay, if both the roots are required to be greater than zero, let me make it fifty-six percent. If both roots greater than Zero. We said delta should be greater than equal to zero. We said some of the roots should be greater than zero, and product of the roots we said greater than zero. Okay. Now <clears throat> let us take quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. Okay. So now suppose, for example, if this quadratic equation is looking like this, yes, and your k is sitting here. Say, for example, in our problem, k was two, and if this was two, k was two, and this was zero here, then if the roots greater than zero, the conditions are these three conditions. But if both the roots are greater than k, in this case it is two, then we are getting little difficult situation. We have got inverted conditions. So, if for every value of x here, if I say, if I if I make this two look like zero, 
then what will this zero be? Minus two. Suppose there are then seven here somewhere. Suppose seven, it will look like if I make this two zero, then zero will become minus two. Seven will become five. Five. What about it? Minus one will become. Minus one, minus one will become minus three. Minus three. Minus three. Do you understand? So, so suppose this is a point which is earlier x, earlier x. Now it will become x minus minus two. Two. Is that right? So. If earlier point is x, it becomes x minus two. If we shift the origin, shift the origin to two. So not that much time. So a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero is the quadratic equation which is given to us. This is the quadratic equation. Which is given to us. So, old x becomes x minus two. Let me call this as uh, t. New becomes t. This is old x. This is new t. So, every old x on this graph. Will have something to do with t. So can I get this relation here? X is equal to t plus one. Sorry, t plus two. Do you understand this relation? How much is x? It is t plus two. What is t? That is the new variable after shifting the origin. What is x? It is the old variable before shifting the origin. So X was seven. T is five. Oh, correct. X was two. T is zero. X was zero. T is minus two. X is a x. T is x minus two. Okay. So now I want to find out new equation. After shifting the origin, I should replace x by this so a into t plus two bracket square plus b into t plus two plus c is equal to zero. Now this is the parabola in terms of t whose both the roots should be positive. If both the roots of this should be greater than two. Then both the roots of this should be greater than zero. What does it matter? Now, our in our case, in our generalized problem, both the roots should be greater than k. Therefore, our generalized new quadratic equation will be a into a into t plus k bracket square plus b into t plus k. Plus c is equal to zero. This is our new quadratic equation, and new quadratic equation condition on new quadratic equation means both the roots should be greater than zero. Okay, so let us use this which we have already developed. Delta should be greater than zero. So what is the delta of this? Delta of this. So now I am going to quickly calculate all these values. Let me make first. It look like a quadratic equation, and I think the green is a better color. A into t square plus two k t plus k square plus b t plus b k plus c is equal to zero. Both the roots should be greater than zero. So a t square plus inside bracket two a k plus B times t plus a k square 
plus BK plus C is equal to zero. This is my new quadratic equation in terms of T whose both the root should be greater than zero. So what is the discriminant? Delta is equal to 2AK plus B bracket square minus 4 into A into AK square plus BK plus C will be greater than or equal to 0. Let us check what this is. 4A square K square plus 4A K B plus B square minus A square K square minus 4ABK minus 4AC should be greater than or equal to 0. Bala. Cancel. Cancel implies B square minus 4AC should be greater than or equal to 0. Same. S1 is same. Now let us check S2. S2 is sum of the roots. Sum of the roots should be greater than 0. What is the quadratic equation? This. What is the sum of the roots? Minus 2a k plus b upon a. This upon this is sum of the roots. Okay, so now if I want to deal with this inequality, I have to multiply by a. So uh, minus 2a square k minus a b. Should be greater than 0. So of the roots can I minus 2a can be upon raise some of the roots some of the roots should be minus b by 2a or minus b by a should be greater than 2 times zero nine this should be the condition na? sir the condition is correct actually what you have wrote we can just further simplify Oh, sir. Yes. So, 2a square, 2a square k should be less than ab. Now, 2 is positive, a square is positive, therefore k should be less than ab upon 2a square minus 5 which implies k should be less than minus b by 2a. Again, we got the second one. Barasal, sum of the roots is greater than 0. Approve now. We have found out this condition. Now the third, product of the root. PR should be greater than 0. In our case, what is product of the roots? This a k square plus b k plus c upon a. This is product of the root should be greater than 0 implies a times f of k should be greater than 0. That is our third. So by shifting origin, 
to k and using the conditions because it is easy if both the roots are supposed to be positive then it is easy because sum of the roots should be positive product of the roots should be positive but if the both the roots are supposed to be greater than 2 then we really do not know what about about product of the roots sum of the roots is still easy but product of the roots you do not know therefore shift the origin and do the calculations and surprisingly that is why mathematics is great we end up getting exactly same conditions and that is what is the interesting fact so note down this third derivation also we will spend one more lecture in solving problems using these conditions quickly we should get the solution set that is the work which are supposed to do in this lecture we are done for ata tacha pahile cha apan uttar pan kadun dale le apna using these conditions so you just write down understand what we are doing here that is the end of the lecture thank you